Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into our fourth and final video. We're going to have a quick look at 12Z of this final video, see what uh, the uh, models are showing uh, as we approach and go into the Christmas period. Will we have a cold Christmas? Will they be showing a cold Christmas? Have a look at 12Z, updated uh, over the past hour or two. And uh, we'll see what they're all showing. So please like, share, subscribe on the video. Thank you so much uh, for doing that. So uh, let's begin then. We're going to start off having a look at the uh, UK Met. UK Met Euro 12Z starting on Friday, 17th of December. Big area of high pressure sitting right over top of Gudgee at 1,040 millibars. So we go through setting that area of high pressure. Still there, dominating weather. Again, brings dry and fine weather. If we can, there will be an increased risk of frost and fog. Though, that Sunday, again, high pressure as well and truly in the ascendancy. Through into Monday, no change. High pressure remains centre right over top of the country. Uh, and we get through to 168 hours, which gets us to the 21st of December. And surprise, surprise, high pressure is still there, sitting over top of the country, bringing lots of dry, but increasingly cold, probably frosty, and foggy weather. So very, very anti-cyclonic UK Met uh, Euro 12Z run. Today taking us right way up to midday on Tuesday 21st of December. Right, so that's that one look done now. Let's have a look at the uh, GFS 12Z. Shall we do that? Let's have a look at this one. Again, uh, we're starting here on uh, the uh, 17th of December. And able to hover. We see high pressure again. It's well and truly in control of the weather there on the 17th of December. We go through into Saturday, Sunday again. It's really it's a high pressure fest. Well and truly dominating the scene, bringing increasing risk of frost and fog. Now we head on into the beginning of next week. That high pressure is starting to ridge a little bit further north. You remember we looked in, uh, we looked at GFS uh, uh, midnight and 6 head runs uh, for days 10 to 14 day. And uh, it was apparent that the uh, GFS model was really sort of being a bit stingy about this cold weather over Christmas. This one looks a little bit better though, this 12Z, if you want to call it Christmas. The alignment of the high pressure and the way it's getting further northwards early next week, um, you know, looks a little bit better if you want a, a colder type Christmas. That is cold with frost and fog in any case, as we're into the middle of next week now, on 22nd of December, but will we get that high pressure up to Scandinavia? We've certainly got some very, very cold air digging in across much of uh, northern Europe with uh, low pressure being loads of snow up there. And it does look as though as we're moving towards Christmas Eve, that high pressure is really ridging towards Scandinavia. We're definitely having a really good go at turning the wind into the east here. So uh, this is a quite a significant step in the direction of a cold Christmas. And by cold, I'm talking about proper cold with risk of some snow. Uh, it's quite a big step in that um uh, you know, scenario from today's GFS or tonight's uh, GFS 12Z. So, look, as we get to Boxing Day, so that's Christmas Day, uh, high pressure uh, dominating on Christmas Day over Scandinavia. It's going to be cold. There may be some fl snow flurries across eastern parts of the country. Now, that is Boxing Day. High pressure is in Scandinavia. We are drawing in cold air from the east of that. Have a look at upper air temperature in the moment, but we are bringing in some really quite cold air from the east with that. I think. And the high pressure sort of slips southwards, cutting off that easterly flow just beyond Christmas. But it's still cold and frosty, uh, of course. And we've got another area of high pressure building over Scandinavia. So we finish up like this with the GFS 12Z. Gets us to the 30th of December. We're very, very, very poised there with high pressure looking like it's building up towards the Scandinavian high. And so... Um, you know, that could be setting up a very, very cold and wintry New Year, uh, potentially. Uh, this is how the upper air temperatures are looking with that uh, GFS 12Z run. So we'll start this on the 22nd of September. So you see the minus 5 Celsius ice flow is getting into the east for the middle part of next week. Cold enough for wintry showers or maybe some snow showers across eastern, southeastern parts of the country. Just generally cold and frosty. I think, as we're going into the uh, Christmas period with the GFS 12Z. Uh, now, Christmas Day looks cold. Minus 5 Celsius, minus five Celsius ice firm. So we're currently got minus 10 Celsius ice firm sitting to our east. And that minus 10 Celsius ice firm does make its presence now. Just making an appearance into the southeastern corner 
on Boxing Day. So that's a very cold Boxing Day. Probably kind of bring some snow showers to eastern coastal counties. Uh, anyway, the moment we begin to lose those coldest of the upper air temperatures as we head towards the uh, between Christmas and New Year, if you like. That's how we get to the very end of the GFS 12 Z Huge cold pool over Scandinavia with relatively less cold. Uh, for the uh, UK. Right, that's that one done. Let's have a look then, shall we, at the GEM. So what do we have to do with that? Got to go there, and then go there. Uh, right, okay, this is the GEM 12Z. Again, high pressure dominated weather on Friday. We head through the weekend and into up next week. Again, high pressure well and truly in control, but reaching up towards Scandinavia, turning colder through next week. And uh, we go in towards the Christmas period, and we look like that. So yes, again, the GEM is at it again. Again, trying to bring very cold air in from the east with low pressure in the Atlantic. It looks like it's going to come up against that cold air. You would certainly not be ruling out the chance of some uh, of a snow event there on some western parts of the country on Christmas uh, Eve. Wow, wow, wow. Icon, uh, DWD looks like this. Again, high pressure dominates the weather uh, as we go into the early part of next week. Loads of high pressure in control of weather up to 180 hours and trying to get wind into the east uh, a little bit as well. And then the ECM WF, finally, which has been updating as we've been doing this video. It looks like this. If you've enjoyed the video, by the way, please smash your like button. Make sure you send to the channel. Thank you so much. You drop a comment and let, let us know what you think. So ECM, again, high pressure is over top of the country. Uh, 12Z, uh, ECM over top of the country with that high pressure on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. High pressure remains in control. Where's that high pressure going to go? Through the middle of next week, it's reaching northwards, trying to pull some cold air in from Scandinavia. What's going to happen? That's going to get to Christmas Eve. So we look very, very poised there. We've got high pressure to our north and east. We've got low pressure out to our west and southwest. How are the upper air temperatures looking? So, yeah, we've got minus five south sides from into east parts of the country. Not as cold as a lot of the model output, though, uh, day 10 with the uh, ECM. But certainly chilly uh, on Christmas Eve. And there will be some rain in the west. That, you know, if it started progressing in, might deliver some snow some parts of the country. Uh, right, so that's your 12Z roundup. So it swings around about, swings around about, uh, really, as we always get with uh, when we're building up to a colder spell. But uh, it looks like the GFS has shifted tonight towards like a colder Christmas outcome. The ECM possibly, possibly backed away a little bit. And the GEM probably remaining the most consistent of all of the models, uh, to be honest. More tomorrow. So uh, that's how we finish up on, uh, on this Tuesday, 14th of December. We shall see how things are shaping up tomorrow when we will be 10 days away from Christmas Day. If you have enjoyed this 12Z Roundup, then please can you like the video and uh, make sure you sub to our channel. Thank you so much for doing that. And drop a comment and let's know this all of our videos. And uh, yeah, the next instalment of all of this will be coming up to you at Gazworth this tomorrow. So this one though, that's all for now and thanks for watching.